Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. The influence of public sector workers extends far beyond their roles as educators, healthcare providers, administrators, and civil servants. While their contributions to essential services and regulatory frameworks are widely acknowledged, the significance of their purchasing power often goes overlooked. Purchasing power is the ability of consumers to buy goods and services with their income. It's a fundamental driver of economic activity as consumer spending accounts for a significant portion of aggregate demand, which in turn fuels production, investment, and job creation. Public sector workers comprising a substantial portion of the workforce in many countries wield considerable purchasing power. Their salaries circulate through the economy as they spend on goods, services, housing, transportation, and leisure activities. This spending in turn supports businesses, sustains employment, and generates tax revenue that fund public services and infrastructure. Public service workers, especially if they have stable jobs with regular, substantial paychecks, serve as reliable consumers in their communities. Whether they reside in urban centers, suburbs, or rural areas, their spending habits contribute to the vitality of local economies. From grocery stores and restaurants to retail shops and entertainment venues, businesses of all sizes rely on the patronage of public sector workers. Their consistent spending patterns provide revenue streams that enable businesses to thrive, expand, and create additional job opportunities. Furthermore, the multiplier effect amplifies the impact of their spending as businesses they frequent in turn purchase goods and services from other businesses, creating a ripple effect throughout the economy. Not only that, but public sector workers often prefer to patronize small, independent businesses, recognizing the value they bring to their communities in terms of personalized service, unique offerings, and local flavor. By frequenting neighborhood cafes, boutique shops, farmers markets, and other small businesses, public sector workers provide vital revenue streams that enable these enterprises to thrive and compete with large corporations. Their support helps sustain a diverse ecosystem of businesses, fostering entrepreneurship and economic dynamism. Public sector workers are not only the backbone of essential services and regulatory frameworks, but also powerful drivers of economic growth through their purchasing power. As consumers, they stimulate local economies, support small businesses, and sustain employment across various sectors for the rest of the working class. If a strong public sector is good for the economy, what does that mean for an economy that reduces its public sector workforce? In the pursuit of fiscal austerity or ideological agendas, governments sometimes resort to cutting public sector jobs as a means of reducing expenditures and balancing budgets. An immediate effect of cutting public sector jobs is a reduction in consumer spending. Public sector workers, upon losing their jobs or facing wage cuts, or even just wage freezes, experience a decline in disposable income, leading to decreased spending on goods and services in the economy. This reduction in consumer demand can have a cascading effect on businesses, particularly those that rely on local clientele, such as restaurants, retail stores, and service providers. As consumer spending dwindles, businesses may be forced to downsize or close altogether, exacerbating unemployment and economic stagnation. Not only that, but public sector jobs encompass a wide range of roles that deliver essential services vital to the functioning of society. Whether it's education, healthcare, public safety, or infrastructure, infrastructure maintenance, these services form the backbone of communities and support economic activity. Cutting public sector jobs can lead to disruption in these services, resulting in longer wait times, diminished quality, or even outright unavailability. For example, a reduction in healthcare workers can strain hospitals and clinics, leading to longer patient queues and compromised medical care. Similarly, Cuts to education budgets can result in larger class sizes, reduced instructional support, and poor educational outcomes for students. Such disruptions not only impact individual well-being, but also hinder productivity and economic competitiveness. As I previously mentioned, when public sector workers receive their wages, they in turn spend money in the local economy, supporting businesses and stimulating further employment. Cutting public sector jobs disrupts this multiplier effect, as fewer individuals have stable incomes to spend. Consequently, Businesses experience decreased revenue, leading to layoffs or reduced hiring, thereby perpetuating a cycle of economic decline. 
The effects of cutting public sector jobs extend beyond the immediate aftermath with long-term implications for economic growth and development. For example, reduced investment in public services and infrastructure can hinder the productivity and competitiveness of the economy, deterring private sector investment and stifling innovation. As well, the loss of skilled public sector workers through layoffs or attrition can erode institutional knowledge and capacity, making it difficult to address emerging challenges or capitalize on opportunities for growth. Recognizing the pivotal role of public sector workers in bolstering economic activity underscores the importance of investing in their well-being, professional development, and fair compensation. By fostering an environment where public sector workers can thrive, policymakers can harness their economic potential to build stronger, more resilient communities that benefit all members of society. Solidarity.